This is To Worship You I Live in the key of C. So here's the melody. So you'll start off in unison. To worship. Sorry, change keys on you there. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. We'll do that again. So you'll start off in unison. or soprano part. So again, we'll start off unison here. So it'll be two or, I keep doing that. I have it written in a different key and I'm transposing in my brain. That's why I keep doing that. Okay, here we go.
So that's that high part. Um, if you ever get off on any song that we're doing, if you're singing um, a harmony part and you ever just get off, just find that melody again. And make sure that if you're singing a harmony part, if you're singing soprano or alto or anything else that's harmonizing, that you stay really tightly married to the melody because the melody is what is carrying the whole song. The other things are just kind of an extra, okay? So if you are a guy, you'll be doing to worship you I live. You might want to do a full octave below that. That's up to you. To worship you I live. for that um, O's, you can do. If you can't go that high, you could always do to worship you. I live to worship you. I live, I live to worship you. But if that's too low, you could just pop up um, an octave above. So that would be. Alright, so you decide whatever is comfortable, but. I would stick with an octave for a section of the song. So if you want to do a lower, like an, um, yeah, a lower octave for the to worship you I live, that's fine, but stay there till you get to worship you I live, I live to worship you. Then if you want to pop up for that next section of the song, then you would do oh, all right. Um, what you don't want to do is to worship you, I live, to worship you, I live, I live to worship you. And you're just kind of all over the place. So stick with an octave for a section of the song.